Hey, what's going on, tech fans? Welcome to the Monday night edition of Tech of Tomorrow. That's right, why there's no football going on. We've still got Shiznit going on over here on the channel. So what's going on right now? We'll check it out. We've got some cool news stories and also a prawn video of this really cool new DirectCU mini card from the people over at ASUS. So what's up? Well, right off the bat, we've heard that three new processors are going to be released for the Ivy Bridge Dash E platform. That's right. Now, these things are supposed to be released in September, and they are going to be the new high-end desktop CPU. That means they're going to be quite costly, and they're also going to be very, very powerful. So let's jump in right now, and let's check out what's coming out. The new Ivy Bridge E CPUs are based off the 22 nanometer lithography and are a die shrink off the Sandy Bridge E processors. Now we're seeing three of them that are going to be coming to market. First CPU is the Core i7-4960X. It has a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz and has a turbo boost of 4.0. Next is the Core i7. It also has six cores and 12 threads. And this is the Core i7-4930. K. Base clock of 3.4 gigahertz, a turbo boost of 3.9 gigahertz. Last up is the Core i7-4820. Now this has four cores, eight threads, has a base clock of 3.7 gigahertz and a boost clock of 3.9 gigahertz. Now these CPUs are all geared for those people who want the absolute most in their platform. Like the Sandy Bridge E before them, these things are gonna be the CPUs that everybody's using in all those top of the line killer high-end systems. For just the average gamer and stuff, you're not gonna really need to actually use these processors. But if you're somebody who really does a lot of multitasking, gaming and everything else, then you're probably really looking forward to these. Rumor has it, that they're about 10 to 50 percent faster than the previous generation CPUs that were released. So if you guys want to see the full article on this, check out the roadmap and all the rest of that stuff, that'll be over on our website, www.techoftomorrow.com. All right, so what's next? Let's keep it going on CPU since we've got that on the plate. Everybody knows that Haswell is coming out just right around the corner. The launch date will be here and everybody will be able to get their hands on the new Haswell. Now, check it out. There's been a site out there OCaholics that has released information saying that they've been able to overclock the CPU to 5.0 gigahertz using only 0.9 volts. Now, I'm going to say this right off the bat. I wrote the article and everything about it, but me personally, I don't really think this is going to happen. From what I've seen from working with others and from working with JJ on some of the videos that are coming out in the future, uh, 4.6 to 4.7 seemed to be like a kind of stable area, but that was, you know, at a much higher voltage. So for me personally, I think this is probably BS. Plus, in the article, they have hyper-threading disabled. So if you're really being a true overclocker, then, you know, I don't know, disabling hyper-threading for me just to get a score, the CPU is not getting the best performance. So I'm not down with that. So either way, the article's over there on our site, www.techandamara.com. If you're interested, check it out. See what they have. They have a little screenshot of there. I don't think it's really possible. I think that 5.0 will be able to be hit on a lot of Haswell CPUs, but you're going to have to have much more increased voltage, probably more like around 1.4 volts if you're talking about 5.0 gigahertz. And that's what's really adequate cooling because without it, it's fry time and we ain't talking fish. So check it out. Next up, Prawn Video, brand new product from the people over at ASUS. This is their new GeForce GTX 670 Direct CU Mini. That's right. So I've got the card right here in my hand, but let's jump in and let's check out some Prawn. <gasps> Are you ready to fab?
All right, folks, so what did you think of that? I fracking thought that was badass card. That little mini card is definitely going in some system I've got that I'm going to make really, really small to take advantage of its mininess. Like mini me, it will be cool and smaller version. That's right. Supposed to have all the pack and power of the regular card, but in a little bite sized mini thing. So, what's up? Why are on video cards? Check it out. Rumors have been released about the new GTX 77 and 780. Now, I know these are going to be reference-based cards, but you guys can check out from the pictures we see right here that, well, hey, looks pretty much a lot like a 690 and a Matrix. So there you have it. It seems like the new GTX 77 and 780, as far as reference cards go, are going to look pretty much like we've seen in the past. Now, we all know people like Asus, Gigabyte, all those type of folks. You know, even EVGA out there may, you know, make some aftermarket type stuff to make the card run much cooler and much more awesome. Because the cooler the card runs, the better your boost to the better you are. So you guys all know that. So last up, last story. PlayStation 4. Now, the guys at Sony claim that this is going to be the absolute best launch of all time because basically they have the biggest balls in the industry and the most support. So they're saying right from launch day, they're going to have just tons of games, tons of online support, just, you know, just basically the shit. They're saying that this is going to be the biggest, you know, launch of all time for them. Now, whether they make this or not when it comes out is yet to be seen. I know personally that we're building our own PlayStation 4 little version here. Uh, we've got most of the parts now. We're almost done. I know a lot of you people have been anticipating that, but that's another story I'm getting off the track. So, anyways, Sony says that it's going to be the biggest badass launch. Ooh, you know, we'll have to see. So, all right, folks, those are the stories for Monday night. I hope you guys all enjoyed them. If so, make sure you guys hit that like button. It just cracks me up. See if go, hey, you begged to hit the like button. We like your interaction. That's what it's all about. And by the way, we do not get paid for your interaction. It's just really cool to have our fans interacting down below. Plus, when we have contests and stuff, it makes it much easier to go in, gather names from those places, and pop them in certain areas. So if you like being a part of the channel, we just appreciate you being interactive with us. That's what it's all about. We're here for you. We hope you're here there for us. Yeah, something like that anyways. Anyways, I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit the sub button. We'll see you back here for more stories and more prawn as the days go on.